Yeah, opening the show today with some cricket. Uh, West Indies women are gearing up to face Australia in a six-match white ball tour down under. The team is a perfect mix of experience and youth. One of the players on tour is Karishma Ramarak, making her return to the squad since February. The 28-year-old has been one of the region's best spinners, loaded for her tight economy rate and wicket-taking ability. Karishma joins us online to talk about her return to the West Indies squad, among other things. Karishma, welcome to the Sportsmax Zone. It's great to have you on our show today. And how is Sydney feeling this morning, which is Wednesday in Australia? Actually, it's Thursday. Thursday. Um, it's is it? Yeah. Yes, it's Thursday. Crazy. That's We're right. Yeah. Hours ahead. That's right. Thursday. <laughs> how is how is Sydney feeling on a it's Thursday quite morning? Chilly. Quite chilly. Quite chilly. Even in the room, it's it's very cool on a morning. Yeah. Um. How how enthusiastic are you about this this assignment? You are you know thousands of miles away from the Caribbean where you are based. Um. How does this experience feel? Um. In Australia on tour. Yeah, look, it's my first time here, so I'm obviously enjoying the atmosphere, you know, getting to uh, feel the pitches. Obviously, it's not conducive for spin, but um, I'm quite still okay with that, you know. My style of bowling is really one that, you know, I, I enjoy flat wickets as well. So I'm kind of happy, you know, getting to feel the type of wickets that we, they have here, you know. Um, the outfield is amazing, you know, once you hit the ball, it's it's running through, so... I'm really excited to, to play against Australia here. Yeah, well, obviously, your captain, Hayley Matthews, and players like Stefani Taylor would have been in Australia um, before, including playing big bash cricket and so on. Um, have they been able to sort of, you know, give the other teammates who would not have experienced Australian conditions some, some tips as to what they're, that they can expect beyond what you have already experienced being there? Yeah, well, well the names you call are batting gods, so... They're going to enjoy batting here, I'm sure. That's all they say. It's a batting chair. Yeah, so, you know, as the bowler, we have to be very accurate with our lines and lengths. And obviously, you know, yeah, a, a um, birdie, allow the batting to do Yeah, a birdie told me, Karishma, that when you practice, you practice batting a lot, although you're a spin bowler and bowling is your forte. But I, 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 I gather that you practice batting a lot. Um, is that true, first of all? Yes, it is actually. I, I do love batting a lot more than any other aspect of the game. But obviously, you know, um, I'm picked a bowl, so uh, I, I got a bowl when when called yeah, upon. I, but I, I'm I'm working on my batting, so given the opportunity, I can you know. I, I asked that, that question because there there are a lot of low order bat batters that feel that they are they are good batters and should actually be promoted in the batting order to to seven or six when they are number 10 or number 11 batters. Um, are you in that group? Um, I'm getting there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Lance spoke about that birdie. I don't know which bird he was talking about, but Karishma, how has preparation been like? Because we spoke a couple of days ago and you said to me, because you were so fulfilled after one particular training session, you said, you know, you had a complete training session. Tell me a bit about that. I feel like I can't give you personal insights anymore, but um, <laughs> yesterday was an amazing day for me. Um, I feel like I had, a, a, as I said to you, a complete session. I actually bat, bat a lot more than I bowled, but the ball was coming out really well. Um, I had some discussions with, with Skipper Healy, and, you know, she, she was really happy with, you know, the way things were coming out, especially... The way it were, the balls were coming out of my hands, and even the way I was batting, she was she was actually surprised to see me, you know, hitting through the line of the ball and stuff like that. Um, to end with that, I had um, a top fielding session with Ryan Austin. And, um, I feel like you know, everything is just falling into place. Yeah, and you know, one of the things I'm very very proud about you is after the World Cup you were able to be named in the World Cup team of the tournament. You were the only West Indian woman, woman to be named in that bunch. Uh, after that, 
what are some of the goals that you've set for yourself where Windy's cricket is concerned? Because you've achieved that, but that's not it. Um, personally, for me, the major goal was to get to the World Cup and obviously experience that atmosphere. Um, I mean, being named in the team of the tournament was just a plus for me. Um, I feel like now it's about, you know, getting that exposure and experience in franchise cricket and obviously giving West Indies as much as I can once the body allows it. Uh, and yeah, I mean, as much as I can be effective as a bowler and uh, a batter, if given the opportunity, um, I'm looking forward to do that for as long as I can. Yeah, you were really, really good in the just concluded women's CPL. Uh, one of the competitions one of the matches you were named play of the tournament with some brilliant figures i'm i was happy that i was there live to see you do that uh how was that competition for you the women's cpl it's unfortunate because i remember seeing you walk up to collect the runners up medal and it's as if it wasn't good enough because you are a competitive person it's win or nothing uh how was that competition for you yeah, i mean i feel like prior to the tournament we had probably the best team going into, this, into the CPL tournament. I feel like, you know, obviously on the days who plays the better game and um, credit goes to Barbados, they played tremendous throughout the entire tournament. So um, for me, the experience was amazing, you know, getting to gel with the type of players that we had, the legends in our dressing room, you know, it was, it was really good to have that experience and that exposure. So I'm really happy and looking forward again um, to the next one. Yeah, Kirshmer, your best performances in international cricket so far, three for eight and three for 22, have come against big teams, New Zealand and, and South Africa, um, which, which leads me to think that you're the type of person that is, is challenged by, by tough tasks. Would that be an accurate assessment of you? Uh, a couple of my friends actually told me that once, I, once I'm wearing the West Indies shirts, I'm able to concentrate and perform a, a lot better. But um, that's yet to be proven. Um, but I'm really happy, you know, I'm challenging myself. If, if who knows me knows that I'm, I'm always up for a task. So um, I'm, looking, I'm always looking forward to, to doing well against these teams. Yeah, and Karishma, I know the past three months would have been tough for you and, and um, Mariah having lost your mom. Um, how has that been? Because you've had to refocus now to your job as a professional cricketer. Um, how, has that, how has that process been for you? Um, it's been really difficult, uh, I must say. Uh, some days I'll find myself in a hole. And then, you know, I have to remember that at the end of the day, I'm here to do a a job. Um, this is my profession. Um, as professional players, they expect us to, you know, obviously give our best at all times. And for me, it's all about enjoying the game again, um, finding back that motivation and that passion to get back out there and um, perform for the team. Obviously, I have not played in West Indies College since then, so maybe it's a, you know, a new feeling going back out there. But I'm looking forward to the task. I'm looking forward to give any team everything needed to, you know, obviously get close to Australia. Yeah. Uh, Karishma, a lot of experts looking on, on on your bowling in recent months um, would have concluded that you are improving. You appear to be a better bowler now than you were last year or, or the year before. Do you feel that way? And um, how much of a challenge is this Australian tour for you, given, given that feeling? I mean, as a cricketer, you always want to improve. I mean, I mean, I believe anything you're doing, that's something at the top of your, your mind. So for me, it's all about, you know, learning, improving, um, looking at a lot of cricket, um, speaking to the right persons. And obviously, Australia is going to be a tough task. There's no doubt about it. But um, as you said, I'm, I'm up for the challenge on these big days. So uh, usually I, I do well against them. Um, I'm not really happy with you know, sometimes some of the games, obviously, but I've I've done it in the past. In, in terms of where you know I'm, I've, I'm quite confident bowling against some of these players. Uh, again, obviously coming back from that major loss, it's going to be a whole different thing. But I'm I'm up and ready for it. 
Yeah, I think you're very strong and you will be able to do what you need to do when it's game time. We have in the CPL a lot of, a lot of international players, some Australians as well. So do you think having those international players just in the competition has assisted your game, you know, getting into their heads, listening a bit about what they do, how they play? Yeah, of course. Um, and even our coach, the new coach we have is Australian. So right. um, I feel like their mindset is a lot different. Um, the way they, well, not a lot different, but, you know, the, the way they analyze and they assess, is, uh, it's, it's quite different from how we do it in the Caribbean. And I'm very open and say, you know, things that are being, messages that are being transferred and, you know, information that are being passed. So it, for me, it's all about learning and growing. Yeah, you spoke about coach and we didn't get to talk about coach. I didn't because you didn't have the opportunity to play with him until now you're training. How has that experience been? What is coach like? He is, he is a funny man. He is very welcoming. He is very open minded. I think um, the first thing that uh, he said to me when I when he saw me back, he was like, I need you to be hitting sixes and that's something like, you know, I've been trying to work on for the longest time. So to hear him say that means that, you know, he wants us to be a more innovative. He wants to be able to rely on ourselves some more. So for me, it's all about him trusting us and giving us the opportunity to do what, you know, those things. Mm. And, and Karishma, Anissa Mohammed has been the premier off-spin bowler for the West Indies women's team for well over a decade now and uh, she's um, riding off into the sunset. Do you feel that the burden is yours now to pick up from where she left off because she was hugely successful and she's a Trin Begonian like you are? Um, for those who know Anissa, she's a legend of the game. I mean, I don't think I can pick up where she left off, but I'm definitely up for the challenge. She is one of a kind. I don't think that, you know, we're going to get or I'm going to ever be as good as she was or is. Um, but obviously, I'm, I'm having good conversations with her. Even now, she's always checking up on me, asking me about the conditions and what I plan to do. So I think we have a really good relationship. Um, if, I'm, if I'm half as good as her or able to do half of the things that she has done while she was here, I'll be very happy with that. Yeah, I, I did say well over a decade, but I think it's probably closer to two decades, Anissa Mohammed, as we say good afternoon to her as well. Well, uh, Karishma, we know you have, a, have a, an assignment coming up in a couple of hours. Um, we do wish you the best with this West Indies team. Uh, send our best wishes to your captain, Haley Matthews, and the rest of the team as well. And the Sports Max Zone wishes uh, the West Indies women some success and uh, a very, very flourishing tour down under. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so that's uh, Karishma Ramharak, West Indies off spinner, sister of uh, Murat. And um, Murat, how was that for you? I know you've spoken to her on your um, shows before. Yeah. Your um, uh, your weekly show that in you case did, you in missed case it. In case you missed it. So yeah. it's it's not new for you to be talking to her yeah. um, publicly like this. But how was that for you just now on the it, zone? It was different because whenever she does interviews. I am in the position of the interviewer, but I'm more concerned about how she answers, what she says, if she says the right things. <laughs> that, that's what I'm focusing on, right? Because I've always said on this show, Karishma and I share a very close relationship as sisters. Um, she's all I have known growing up. And, you know, uh, yes, we have our little arguments, but Lance, they're always very so short-lived to the point where I don't think we have like not spoken for more than a day. Right, and I know sibling relationships can be very tricky, but with Karishma and I, I think we work very well together as sisters. So for me, I'm very protective of her. Like the big sister cap comes on, and I'm like, say the right things. I hope she, you know, she isn't too nervous. So when you're questioning her, questioning her now, I'm like, let me see what Lance is going to ask her, what spot he's going to put her on, <laughs> you know. So as much as I'm doing my job too, yeah. I can't help but worry about her answering yeah but she she's doing a good job and and i'm i'm pretty um certain about the views that i expressed just now about her improvement she she's a she has always been a steady bowler her her line and length 
consistent from day one, but she has played more confidently in, in the past year. And I think she's a better bowler now than she was in 2020 or 2021 or 22. Correct. And one of the things, and I saw she was about to tear up when you asked her about mom. Yes. Mom has been one of our biggest supporters. So you know when I would sit on the set every day at 4.30, she'd message to say how beautiful I looked. So I always got that message each day. Even if she didn't stay on for the entire show, she would tune in to see if I was looking okay. If I look sad, she would think something happened to me here in Jamaica. Yeah. You know, so she would always do that. With Karishma, she would do every chore she had to do to sit down to watch those matches. Yes. So now that Karishma doesn't have that support, because she really, really appreciated that those messages from mom at the end of the game she feels as if you know that person that she was playing for to make her proud because i heard her saying you know the inspiration to play again the motivation yes that it's not there so it's a bit difficult for her i think settling down knowing at the at, when she's leaving on a tour mom doesn't say goodbye or i'll see you soon or hearing how she plays from mom at the end of the game so I think that's a transition she's getting used to. So going back into Windy Scholars, because when she left, she was on tour when mom passed. Yes. So now going back in brings back those memories. Yeah. So I think, and I was listening to her, which is why I gave you a lot of the questioning, and I was just paying attention to what she said. Mm -hmm. I picked up that. Yeah, big sister, big sister duties. Syndrome <laughs> issues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, Mariah, we have a lot more to come on the Sports Max Zone. Just talking there with Karishma Ramharak, West Indies off spinner, and sister Mariah Ramharak. They're down under. Sydney at the moment getting ready for the start of their six match white ball tour of uh, the world powerful Australian team. We wish the team the best of luck. Back with more on the Sports Max Zone after this.